Hello everyone and welcome to the Wolfside channel. Today with a very special topic, <coughs> always special. A few of you have asked me if I could make a video about how shitty Toxai is. I know, Toxai is not shitty. It is how your mom would describe you in front of her friends. You are special. But what I mean by that? Okay, let's, let's look closer to this. So here we have a very sexual close up of the map. So at the east of the map we have Morinkur. This is one of the capital cities. And we have the special cousin Toxai. It looks wonderful but a lot of people don't like the place in general because everything is widespread and so on but uh, to explain that for example if you just look at the um, city map yeah something this is not condensed I mean if you compare it to something like Fabanum this is a pain in the ass if you need something from a vendor you need to run and run and run and run this is not fun for some it's fun it depends so there are also a lot of fishers in Toxai but how can Toxai for example be improved by that because a lot of people are living in Morinkur and not in Toxai because of this here if we would have a tunnel here that would go up to the north, then also a lot more people would maybe live in Toxai. And Henrik is always talking about ships, always. And just for example, if we have uh, a lot of materials in Toxai and we need to transport that to Miduli or Tindrim because uh, th th there's, uh, I don't know, a shortage of fish, then, oh, we can't sail here because here's the fucking Tecton Bridge. And no, we, we, we can't go up here because there is 100 meter height difference, at least. Because the map has a huge height difference between uh, the west and the east but on the top it works you could sail across Galkor um, past the Tindrum and then to Meduli for example this could also work but if you want to go from Meduli to the west jungle this is a pain in the ass and this is a topic for another video but it also could be the port the port for here it comes jungle resources because from the south it's pretty easy then to ship that to Toxai and from Toxai transport it to Morinkur is no problem so of course something like the ship system would give give more value to Toxai of course and another interesting thing the Chevra cave is still yeah still nothing in there and I mean this video is two years old and it's still the same in there but anyway 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 it needs time of course the game needs time but some improvements to some cities would give would give players a, a, a huge benefit of, of stuff I mean just a little passage to the north for example from Toxai or to the south from Toxai I mean I mean Molkur has a passage to the north uh, the north backdrop uh, why not giving uh, Toxai a south drop that you can go from Toxai to the south and no, 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 I, I I don't mean a south drop from the from the plains between Toxai and Morinkur. I mean a south to the Chevra Cave or something like that. That you have to run through Toxai, actually to the city of Toxai to to use that passage. Would, would be awesome, I don't know. But uh, let me think what you think about in the comments of that. And uh, there's also a voting poll in the description. It would be awesome, by the way. And then, and then also the spawners of the animals, the spawners of the PvE content and the overall time you need to go there. I mean... I mean, if you just want to want to farm bandits or something like that. So, so you are in Toxai. You need to go up the fucking hill, um, uh, over the waterfall, over the bridge, um, the the whole the whole stuff. Uh, similar to Morincourt, similar to the long ass fucking way passage in Morincourt to the west. It's it's nearly the same, but but the but the the, the overall time it needs is a lot. If you compare it to any other city, I mean, even in Morincourt. You can go faster down the, the, the wood steps, the wooden stairs, and and uh, uh, you are in the graveyard and you are at the, at the bandit camp faster than you are actually from, from the, the core city of Toxai to uh, the bandit camp. I mean, if you are in Fabanum and, and you need to go to bandits, no problem, in Kranish, in, in uh, Tindrim, in wherever the fuck. I mean, especially for new players. I mean, I mean, um, we, we had that in, in the past um, that in Mortal and one of you people even said to some some new players, yeah, go to Toxa, you have your, your piece there. And no one will disturb you. It's very similar to Mortal Online 2. I mean, if you are in Toxai, the overall thing is you, there are not much people. So there's not much conf conflict, of course. And, and a lot of people are just uh, there to fish because there's nothing else you can do there. Uh, I mean, you could, of course, use the city a little bit or chop wood or kill some pigs. I don't know. And uh, this, this is it. And the low population of Toxai maybe appeal to some people that they want to live there. But the overall opinion of most players in Mortal Online 2 is like, uh, yeah, Toxai is a little bit useless. Why should you live there? I don't know. Um, uh, this city is shit. Double should improve that. Nah, 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 nah. Always the same stuff. But as I have seen from some comments, 
Also, a lot of people li actually like that, that it's a little bit empty because uh, then the population is low and they have less conflict. If you want, uh, this is the, the most less conflict city you have. It's probably one of the one of the safest cities ever because the population is very low. Um, of, 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 of course, it's not very safe if you are in the city, I don't know, and there are not much guards somewhere. Of course, uh, this is uh, then not a safe area, but I mean in general. They could also improve Toxai if they add some spawners, if they maybe also add some more islands, I don't know, with some spawners in there. And of course, getting down the flying pigs off there. And maybe condense all the, the crafting stuff and all the NPCs a little bit more. Of, of course, uh, this would kill a little bit uh, the immersion. But the main thing is uh, the, the most Mortal Kombat 2 players are, are people that are practical, have a practical mindset. And uh, the others are role players who don't really care anyway and there are a low percentage of people who like okay this is an immersive town yeah this is an immersive town the first time you go there this is an immersive town the, i don't know if you if you spend a, a one day there but if you're actually trying to play in toxai and live in toxai it's it's nightmare i mean for a practical player for a practical player who's uh, there for making making money um getting getting shit done getting stuff farmed um getting getting well equipped getting getting your skills up and uh, maybe engaging some people and stuff like that this is i don't know how should i i should how i should explain that but for a uh, immersive player, for someone who's role playing, for for some for someone who is um, just enjoying the looks of uh, the whole city, I mean, it looks beautiful. I mean, just look at that. And by the way, it would be awesome if we could actually go up there. Yeah, of course. Uh, there are also some pickables in uh, Toxai. This is uh, pretty good. I mean, at least something. But I can totally understand why a lot of you guys um, saying that Toxai is the the least favorable city to play in. I mean, uh, b b b b people also said it would be better to play in the, in the jungle camp and getting camped uh, half a day than actually playing Toxai. And I mean, the jungle camp are just two buildings, so it's... I don't know why people even compare that. And the jungle camp has no guards and the Toxai has guards. So um, uh, uh, how should I say the, the least favorable in general and also the least favorable with... Um, the guard mechanic on but it looks so awesome but it's still so low populated that uh, i don't know even even the broker is uh, yeah yeah j j just go in game just look at the broker you will see and uh, there's maybe a way that star world can improve toxai a little bit i mean with, with very little small things that don't take too much uh, development time and stuff like that maybe you have an idea so please comment that below would be awesome and uh, yeah or also vote would be awesome and by the way, uh, Henrik, um, the Kurite Lictor guards with the wings are still missing, so we can't drop the wings. I mean, we had that model on the one that the Toxai guards had these awesome uh, wings and we could kill them and then we can loot them and then we could uh, play uh, the Wing 2 SARS arrive. Coming down for the mountainside! Yeah, uh, Sabaton, a uh, very good band. Anyway, Lictor Guards would be, would be the first improvement, Henrik. And killable Lictor Guards with wings. And if you want a topic that I should uh, talk about or that I should um, put in the spotlight, uh, then please also comment below. And please leave a like and subscribe while you're ringing the bell, if you haven't already. And special thanks to all these supporters, of course. Carmel, Professor O, Lucario, Ronus, Paternax, Clone, Bulldog, Giovanni Vargas, Mip, Greta, you, and all the others, of course. And never forget to make your toxic hard. <laughs> I mean, party hard. <laughs> See you all next time. Goodbye.